Today I just got a few boxes of merchandise in that I spent around $1,000 on. Some targeted stuff. We're going to look at what's in here in this box and we're going to talk about some values. Hey, it's Don. Today we're going to open up this fairly heavy box. There's a ton, and I mean thousands of individual listings in this box, which we're going to show you. I have two boxes this big that just came in. I'm going to open up this one here, and I think the other one's going to be shown out in my Patreon page. I don't know what's totally in here. I've only seen some mass group shots, some interesting stuff. We're going to look at this right now. We're going to flip the camera around, and I'm going to open this up right now. Okay, before we open this, let's weigh this out and see how much this actually weighs here. Again, I spent about a thousand bucks on two boxes this big. Its quantity, uh, weight wise, is supposed to be close to 37 pounds for both of them. Uh, you can see the weight right there on this one here. This one's over 24 pounds on its own right off the bat. So just FYI, I wanted to shout that out there too before we get into this. Now let's open this puppy up. I've removed part of the label, so I'm not giving away anybody's information, including my own. Uh, let's pop this down here. and open it on up there. And you can see what's in there. This is literally how I got it. Uh, that's one bag, probably about 12 pounds, I'm guessing. And yet another bag right there. So that's what came in with this purchase. Again, there's another box. I have two of these, so it's not just this one lot assortment here. I do have another box just this big also. Now these are mostly railroad, um, vintage railroad uniform buttons, as you can see. Various mixes, various uh, lines. Looks like we've got a rip or two in the bags. Not much can happen to these, thank goodness. Uh, this is typical of what I find and what I buy. I buy them in mass quantities whenever I can get something along this line. This is probably the best bet for it. In fact, I probably cut it when I opened up the bag. That's probably my fault. See if we can't fix this up right here real quick with a piece of tape okay so we're gonna cut these out and have a quick look at what we got in here this is like a treasure hunt to me most of the time I love this sort of thing oops I guess the bags done I always have extra bags so no big deal here always have extra bags so let's just dump some of this out and see what we got here Looks like some brand new ones in plastic still that haven't been touched, actually. Uh, so this is typical, the kind of thing that I buy in these big mass bulk quantities. I'll pull out the best ones, of course, and we'll sort them through once I figure out what's what. Right, let's throw it back this way here. in here sometimes there's older better ones inside the little bags but this is literally an assortment just as i got it in um sometimes they're separated frisco lines right here we'll probably show you some close-ups here i'm just going to pull out some of the newer stuff and have a better look at those but again this is what i look for everyone in here is not going to be worth a ton of money it's going to be the scarce one the one here the one there that's not uh, very often found that's going to rake me in the most money. But here's a close-up on some more of them. And again, I just dumped out one of the bags. I still have the other bag right here. Again, like 12 more pounds of it. Different assortment. There are different types of buttons in some of these, too. Doesn't matter to me either way. I'll pull these out. I'll sort them by the maker. Like, here's a good example right here. Let's zoom in on some of these here. Like this one right here. 
This one's from the 1850s, without a doubt, just by looking at the back of this. Let's zoom all the way in. So that's an 1850s pre-Civil War button right off the top there. Excellent, excellent piece of uh, history right here. In fact, here's another one Yeah, with a different back mark on it, too. There's another good one. So that's another one right there from the 1850s-ish, 1860s. There's another one. So right off the bat, I'm pretty happy with what I see in the assortment. Some of these, again, have are new. Some very nice, very interesting ones. Some of these are very obviously what they are. It says Motorman on this one here. Uh, that's a train Motorman. Um, you'll probably see Conductor, Alton Railroad Lines. Some of these will have to look up like these sorts here. Uh, but this is literally how I find and buy this stuff in mass, mass quantities. Any of this sort of thing, I just love finding. It's always an exciting time to pull these out and see which ones are old, what's worth what, what I actually have in the lot here. Sometimes you run into similar ones or ones that are bunched up together here. Canadian National Railways. Uh, lots of interesting ones in here. In fact, this one's actually uh fairly old 1890s through about 1910 lots and lots and lots and lots of good stuff in this lot here we'll take out again as i said the ones that are sealed up there's many from the same line and sometimes people will mix up what's what and they'll think it's one thing and it's actually something else many times i'll run into civil war veteran buttons mixed up into these sorts of things as well too so again i've already found uh, a good chunk of change as Civil War era buttons. These are probably worth, uh, geez, at least, say, 75 bucks or better a piece. Probably more along the lines of 125 would be my guess on something like this. Obviously, uh, I don't just rush to sell anything, so we'll research everything. We'll see what's what, and then we'll go from there. Here's another Civil War era button out of here. Again, I don't know every line by heart, but I have all the books to determine what the value is on pretty much anything. You can see this one here. It's a very nice one, actually. Here's a good example of an earlier one. Civil War era back mark. We'll show you these close up, too, just so you can see them. That's this one here. Just a nice assortment here. I love, 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 love these sorts of things. Always make us some good money on these. In fact, let's just dump them all out. Looks like they're all basically the same thing. So I'm going to dump out the other bag. We'll back this up here and just dump out some more. In fact, there's another one. Yeah, there's another good one, too. And another good one right there, too. Let's just dump out some more here. What do we got here? I always love finding them in the bags. They're usually something pretty unique. Yeah, I'll have to look those up. These are off of a Kepi, too, which is a military-style hat. Okay. more keppy buttons there sometimes they say what they are most of the time they don't but this is a typical haul for us and again I don't have any drive time now I could pick up stuff like this locally uh, well not really locally it's it's a three plus hour drive one direction so I've come to the conclusion that I'll just keep paying to have stuff shipped in even if I can get it locally or not uh, just because of that type of time frame into picking this stuff up it's a lot of time to waste on drive and all that other stuff but you know for something like this if I'm gonna sink in a thousand bucks or something and I got the potential to make tens of thousands back at the end of the day I'm gonna do it um, at least until I know what I'm getting out of it and then if everything works out good like uh, stuff like this shows up and it keeps coming in good like this with just some fine quality buttons involved in the lot then I would actually just purchase like this in big bulk I purchased in this round here roughly 40 more pounds Again, this is just half I got another box just that big on those priority boxes full of this 
Um, that brings my total to over 400 pounds. I'm technically right now buying from several different people, uh, massive quantities. Uh, I've talked about this before. A lot of things these days uh, are showing up because people need the money, and I'm able to purchase bigger quantities of stuff because of that. So I've been very grateful for a lot of the opportunities that we've gotten from this. Um, purchasing stuff like this. Again, this is targeted uh, sourcing. I'm only going after this sort of thing. I'm not looking for anything else from the, the, the people that I'm buying these from. I'm looking to grab a big chunk of the market the best I can. Again, I haven't listed anything. I do collect, so some of this will be kept here and there, some of the more interesting and unique pieces. But this is the epitome of targeted sourcing. This is where the good chunk of my time goes to to determine you know what I'm going to sell. A lot of times I'm sourcing stuff like this. A source, uh, a purchase like this may take me a long time to make. I may work on something like a purchase this big for three or four months. Again, I'm not doing it every single day, but I'll spend a couple hours with phone conversations, trying to get images, trying to see if we can arrange something, not just with one person, but quite a few people. Um, because again, I, I do have multiple sources these days for stuff like this. Not obviously identical merchandise every time. A lot of the train people and train collectors will have tons of this and sometimes you'll run into a button collector specifically who's a higher end collector who buys mass quantities and they're retiring they don't have the time to sell it they don't want to mess with it and they'll eliminate stuff so i've been lucky enough to to be able to source stuff like that for those reasons this makes us a lot of money uh, without a doubt i mean just the sheer quantity alone when an average button you can almost be assured on a decent line will go for five bucks minimum or better. Now, I know I don't usually mess with five dollar buttons specifically. I'll put them in a lot if they're worth, you know, under 10. I don't try to list anything under ten dollars individually. It's just not worth my time or effort to do that. Um, lots of nice, interesting pieces in here. Lots of earlier pieces. Let's move in and just show you some of what we got in here. Uh, most of these are major train lines. Again, I don't know every one. I'll have to look up some of these. But again, if you've got the material to look them up, it's no big deal. Uh, Pennsylvania Railroad. That one's pretty obvious. I love this sort of thing. So for me, I, I'll spend hours looking through this and sorting it and splitting them up and putting them in bags and getting ready to photo them or have somebody to take shots of all of these. There's a ton of money here. Uh, again, this is only half of it. So I roughly have $500 into all of what you see here. Again, targeted sourcing, targeted sourcing. This is going to be a long time to list the massive quantities of this sort we have. Again, I've got over 400 pounds right now of this and you know i haven't sold any of it as of yet because we do have a plan to do something with this so stick with your plans stick with your goals if it's working and you've got something envisioned for something like this you know there's many ways to market and sell this ebay let me put it this way too is not the only source for things like this there are some much better places where i will get more money out of my items other than ebay selling this type of item selling buttons and things like that so, you know, it, it's time into something like this that I will enjoy doing. I will enjoy sorting these and bagging them up and figuring out what I have in this allotment here. So, excellent. Very happy with what I got. Uh, for finding something like this, again, as I said, it took us a long, long time. I've got months and months into sourcing out this type of thing. This specific haul here has been a four or five month endeavor, as I said. So, I'm just pulling out some that are identical here. Lots and lots of good ones in here. Some of the ones that are better ones will be ones that are from a very limited line, uh, like something that only had like one train engine or something like that. Uh, of course, you're going to run into multiples of the same one when you buy in mass quantity. So, you know, I may end at the end of the day have enough to put together like a whole shirt worth or something like that. Um, like these are all big four right here and I can sell them in a mass quantity lot to somebody else if I need to be or again there are other sources to sell these besides eBay one of the best sources is not eBay for some of the better high dollar uh, rarer uh, ones as well too so just keep that in mind when you're out doing this sort of thing 
again, this isn't something you're just going to walk up on a store and probably find. Although I have found, maybe not this much, but close to it, all at the same time at a uh, business that I was at. And it turned out it was a sewing company that did um, costumes and stuff back then. I don't run into that stuff in the wild pretty much anymore. I have to sort it down from major businesses um, in specifically because again these things just aren't around that much anymore these days so they just don't turn up enough where people can find them without doing the the due diligence and sorting and searching through ads articles i am members of of clubs that sell buttons and things like that button collector societies there's actually a national button so uh, society uh there's local ones state ones in the whole works and and Knowing how a specific category works is how you gain access to finding quantity of items like this. I couldn't do it had it not been for my knowledge in the field itself. I've been into buttons itself for, geez, now probably going on 30 years I've been messing with buttons. So I know where to look. I know what to look for. I know the the types, the quantities, the, the valuation on some so you know you've got to have an in if if it's not your area you've got to know more than everybody else to make it worth the time or make it worth the while railroad buttons a lot of people don't know or aren't familiar with them because in many cases a railroad button you'd have to have specific price guides again i've shown you the price guides i own them. the price guides for railroads just the first three basic ones will cost you close to 750 bucks just for the price guides just to be able to tell what's written on the buttons because a lot of them are cryptic and fancy letters and and things like that like b and o line here uh, which is Baltimore and Ohio. If you don't know that, you're not going to be able to sort it, you know, and figure out price-wise because you won't be able to know the name on it to begin with. And that's usually what I run into, why I can source these. Even at antique malls, I can find small bags of them. Uh, Wabash, this is another one of the local lines here. In fact, we'll zoom in again just to show you a couple more here. Wabash. Um, I'll show you the big four up close too, so you can kind of see. Just showing you a, a few interesting examples here. Uh, again, most of these date far back. Um, a lot of these lines don't exist. A lot of them have been incorporated with other companies. So, you know, there's just many reasons. If you don't know enough about a category, you really need to learn on it before you make a thousand dollar purchase like this. I'm into probably around eleven grand in uh, eleven thousand dollars in purchases of stuff like this. This exact type of material of every type imaginable for everything from steamship liners, military, foreign military, uh, government buttons, everything. This is this is one of my areas that I've specialized in for quite some time, and that I honestly and sincerely do love looking at. So, hopefully, that gives you a little bit of an idea on specializing on targeted sourcing this is what targeted sourcing gives me now for those in patreon i'm going to show you the other box luckily this box i opened here is the more common stuff the other box that i'm going to open and show you up in patreon is going to include some very very rare uh civil war buttons um some things along that line too some very early stuff including trolley cars small transit lines that maybe have ran just on one city street and one big town too so this is what i got hopefully you enjoyed it that's what i have for you today well there you are hopefully that gave you some ideas some thoughts on this sort of thing there's a lot of money involved if you know how to source target sourcing specifically and find multiples of the same item you can really cut your cost down your labor cost your list cost especially when it's easy to photograph and easy to list like these types of items but that's what i have for you today hopefully that gave you some ideas some thoughts if you enjoyed this video please hit that like button down below you can also hit the bell icon to be notified if i post new content or go live subscribe and tell all your friends
so easy to love the Huckabees. I'm Hulk Huckabee. Soft little sweet little I'm Huckabees. I'm Hillary, pleased to meet you. And the you. way that they hug is sure to please. I'm Huck. They're the Huckabees. She's so lovable. I love the way she hugs me. All the Huckabees' clothes are wonderful old-fashioned clothes. I also have her wedding ring. It's so easy to She's love queen. the Huckabees. She's getting married. The Huckabees, each sold separately. Wedding dress sold separately, too. New from Romper Room.